And I want to uh, speak under these words in the book of John chapter, I mean Matthew chapter 14, um, from verse 10. It says, And he sent and beheaded John in the prison. And his head was brought in the charger and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took up the body and buried it and went and told Jesus. And when Jesus heard of it, he departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. Here it is about when John the Baptist, for, uh, his head was asked by a damsel, a Herod's daughter. They did cut John's head and they gave it to Herod's daughter. John, mother was Mary's cousin. Mary was, was, was Jesus' mother. So when Jesus heard that John's head was beheaded, he heard it from, the disciple, from John's disciples after they buried him. They went and told Jesus. And when Jesus heard about this, the Bible says he went away from that city to a desert place. I want to say to the Church of Charity and Faith, be thou comforted. Jesus knew that John went to a better place. That's why he did not even want to go to see where he died, to go even to bury him. He was not even at the burial. Because Jesus knew that where John is, is better than where he was when he was alive. This world, we cannot claim it as our home. It is very painful. There is anger, death, sicknesses, divorces, painful things. We cannot embrace this world as our home. And I believe that that's the reason why Jesus, when he heard about the death of John the Baptist, he just departed from, the, from that place. To me, it meant onward soldiers. We are not here permanently. We have come to work.